everybody and welcome to our preschool kindergarten class my name is sister Antoinette and today's lesson is about the armor of God and our Bible point for today is God helps us to be strong so well, we are part of God's army and as soldiers in God's army it is important for us to be strong and the way we are strong is by learning the Word of God so when we take time to memorize Bible verses and learn scriptures we are learning how to use our armor we are learning how to fight in God's arm army and so when soldiers go into battle there's all these pieces that they have to put on to protect their bodies there's helmets that they have to have to protect their heads uh, the shoes that they wear protect their feet there are all these different things that they have to wear and when you put it all together it's called their armor so today we're going to watch a video about the armor of God we're going to learn all the different pieces that we have to put on to wear to be strong in God's army so let's take a look at this video guys <laughs> God's story, the armor of God. So part of God's story is about how God gives us armor, and it goes like this. When we follow Jesus, we're a part of God's kingdom. And one day, Jesus will recreate a perfect world for the whole family to enjoy with God forever. But until then, we're in a battle, which means we're part of God's family and his army. See, God's enemy, we call him the devil or Satan, has a kingdom too. And he has his own army devoted to tricking us into believing that we can't trust God or that God doesn't really love us or worse, that God's love isn't good enough. Basically, he'll do anything to get us to stop trusting and obeying God. He pretends to be sneaky, like in the Garden of Eden, when he tricked Adam and Eve into trusting him instead of God. But he really wants to destroy us. In fact, the Bible says he is like a roaring lion looking for people to devour. Yikes! Kids, how would you feel if you were being chased by a roaring lion? Anyway, the good news is God has given us armor to defend against all of the devil's attacks. And if you're going to be in a battle, you've got to have the right equipment. So the first thing we put on is a belt of truth. That's because Satan is the father of lies. But when we choose to believe the truth that Jesus rescued us and God loves us, it's like we're wearing devil repellent, so the devil's lies can't get through to us. We also get a breastplate of righteousness. Being righteous means always making right choices. Of course, nobody has done that except Jesus. But see, Jesus took the punishment for our bad choices. So when we choose to accept his rescue, God sees our sins as gone, which means to him, we are righteous. Satan means the accuser, and he loves to make us feel guilty. But we can defend ourselves by remembering how God sees us. Then come your feet. God covers them with what we need to go and tell people the good news about Jesus. Kind of like boots. When more and more people believe in Jesus, the devil can't stand it, because God's army and his kingdom are both getting bigger. We don't go into battle empty-handed either. We get a shield and a sword. Our shield is faith to block the devil's lies. Worried God won't take care of you? Nope. God promises to give us what we need. Worried God doesn't really love you? Nope. God created you in his own image. Our sword is the word of God, or the Bible. Finally, we get a helmet of salvation, which helps us remember in our heads that Jesus rescued us. We are a part of God's family and nothing can separate us from his love. That's right, nothing. And the best part? We're on the side that wins! So no matter how hard the devil tries to drag us over to his side, he won't be able to. God helps us stand strong and gives us armor we can use in the fight. And that's the story of the armor of God. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. We're in a battle. God has an enemy. God gives us armor, a belt of truth, a breastplate of righteousness, good news boots, a shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, and a helmet of salvation. We're on the winning side. So let's put on this armor and fight. And that's a part of God's story.
our video had all the different pieces of the armor of God. And so now we're going to go into our activity and we're going to talk about, we're going to talk more about the armor of God and what each, what each piece means to us. So parents, if you're watching with your children, I want you to pause the video now if you can. And I want you to go to ctechma.org, go to the church's website, and then under ministries, you want to go to Christian education. And then right underneath our preschool video, you're going to find a link to the PDF document for our activity. If you have the ability to print from home, I want you to go ahead and print it out for your child, have them uh, sit in front of the video with their color pencils or their crayons or whatever they have. And if you're not able to print, you can have them uh, sit with a blank piece of paper, still with their crayons, their color pencils, they could draw along with us for our activity. So if you can, pause the video now before we start the activity and go ahead and print that out. If not, I want you to enjoy our activity here where we're talking more about the armor of God. Let's get into our activity. So here we have our lesson 11 activity. God is my strong helper. And we are learning about the armor of God. And so our instruction here says point to each piece of armor and tell how it helps us to be strong. So first we're going to start with our first piece of armor and it is a sword. This is the sword of the spirit. Every soldier needs a weapon to fight the enemy. And our weapon is the sword of the spirit, which is God's word. When we learn Bible verses and we learn God's word, we are learning ways that we can fight the enemy. And so what's our second piece here? This is the helmet of salvation. Soldiers need helmets to protect their heads. So we have the helmet of salvation. It keeps our minds safe from the attacks of the enemy. And so our third piece of armor here, we have our breastplate of righteousness. Soldiers wear armor over their chest. It protects their lungs and their hearts. So when we wear our breastplate of righteousness, we are protecting our hearts from the enemy, right? And so our fourth piece of armor here is the belt of truth. Every soldier has a belt. It's big and it's wide. It protects their tummies and the lower parts of their bodies from their enemies. So you see how big the belt is here? So when we wear a belt of truth, we believe God's word is true because God does not lie. And so putting on the belt of truth protects us from the lies of the enemy. And so next here we have the shoes of peace. Soldiers need shoes to protect their feet. And as God's soldiers, we wear the shoes of peace. This protects our feet from the enemy and it helps us to go tell others about Jesus. And so our last piece of armor here, we have our shield of faith. And so with our shield of faith, every soldier needs a shield and it protects them from the attacks of the enemy. So when the enemy throws attacks against us, we have our shield of faith, right? It protects us from the lies and all the evil that the enemy will try to throw against us. So the shield stops temptation and lies that are coming against us. So we definitely need our shield of faith. And so let's go to part two here. What are we going to do down here? All right. It says, draw one way you can be strong for God. Okay. So I'm going to draw my favorite way that I can be strong for God. And that is by reading my Bible. So I'm going to draw my Bible right here. And so remember, we see the sword of the spirit right here. Remember that the sword of the spirit is God's word. So when we learn and memorize the Bible, we are learning ways that we can fight the enemy. So I'm going to draw my Bible right here. I'm going to write Holy Bible. That's usually what we see on the front of Bibles. All right, and I'm going to color it in. I want my Bible to be orange. So I'm going to color my Bible orange. Now you can draw whatever you want. You can draw uh, someone praying. That's one way we can be strong for God. What's another way we can be strong for God? We can go to church, right? We can go to church. That is one way we can be strong for God. Another way is Sunday school. So see, you're watching the Sunday school video. This is one way to be strong for God. There are lots and lots of ways to be strong for God. Let's name another way. What's another way that we can be strong for God? Do you have any guesses? Telling people about Jesus. Remember we had our shoes of peace that we can use to go and tell people about Jesus. That's another way we can be strong for God. So there are lots of ways we can be strong for God. And we use the armor of God to do that. So here I've drawn my Bible here. And this is one way that I like to be strong for God because I love to read. So reading my Bible is super fun for me. And so what does it say at the bottom here? It says, I will be strong and follow God. So I want us to always focus on being strong and following God by putting on all of our armor here. We see we have our activity page here. 
And again, you see, I drew my Bible at the bottom. That's one way we can be strong for God. Now, if you want, you can draw more ways on the sides here how we can be strong for God. So what's another way we can be strong, right? We can pray. So you can draw someone praying right here. Uh, we can worship and sing to God. So we can draw some instruments on the other side. And the most important is studying our Bible. So we want to make sure we read the Bible. We're memorizing some verses. We're learning about the Bible so that we can put on the armor of God and we can be strong for God. So let's go ahead and pray right now. God, we thank you for everything you've done in this Sunday school lesson. God, we pray that you help us to put on your armor throughout this week, God, and throughout the rest of our lives, God. Even while we're young, Jesus, even while we're children, God, we pray that you teach us how to put on your armor in Jesus' name. We pray that you help us to learn and study your word, to memorize some verses, to memorize some scriptures, so that we can put on your armor, so that we can use the sword of the spirit and we can fight against the enemy. And we thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I thank you for joining me for today's lesson. I pray you come back next week and I pray you have a blessed week. Have a great day, everybody.